Welcome, everybody, to 2024. So glad that you decided to join me today. Today, we're going to be talking about the horoscopes and the astrological events that are going to be happening for us for January 2024. So on January the 1st, Mercury will go direct as it's been in its retrograde motion since December in the sign of Sagittarius. On January the 4th, Mars will enter into the sign of Capricorn where it's going to be uh, prompting us to get busy with business. January the 11th, the new moon goes into the sign of Capricorn. This is time for us to set our intentions at this time. And especially intentions that have everything to do with the long term. January the 12th, Juno goes retrograde. January the 13th, Mercury will enter into the sign of Capricorn. So we're going to be talking business at this time. January the 20th, the sun will enter into innovative Aquarius. January 20th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. And that is a big event, which we will have a separate video on because that is going to uh, prompt the cycle, uh, the cycle for the next 20 years and what our lives will start to look like in a very innovative way. So it does deserve its own video. January the 23rd, Venus will enter into the sign of Capricorn. January the 25th, we have a full moon in the sign of Leo. And January the 27th, Uranus finally goes direct in the sign of Taurus. So those are the astrological events that will be happening for us on uh, for the month of January the 24th. Now we'll get into our individual horoscopes for you and see how this January, the first month of the new calendar year, will pan out for you. Hi, Virgo. This is your January 2024 horoscope. So for the month of January, uh, Virgo, sun, moon, arising, your intention is going to be on your fifth house. That's because the sun and the new moon will be highlighting your fifth house of joy. This is where we find our joy. This is the house of romance. This is the house of dating, our children, procreation, um, our hobbies, things that we take a chance on, and our creative expression. So a lot of the energy from the sun, your attention, your passion, your vitality will be really turning towards your romantic life. So this could be either for a single Virgo sun, moon arising or a coupled up Virgo sun, moon arising. So if you are single, this could possibly bring uh, increased uh, talks or energy around dating opportunities. Uh, this could have you socializing more, getting out more, maybe meeting new people that could have a romantic connotation to them. Um, if you are a coupled up Virgo sun, moon arising, this could bring be bringing the romance back to your relationship. This could also have you bringing more attention to your relationship and the trajectory of where the relationship is going. Because this is a house of casual dating, this may see your romantic or dating life take on a more serious note and moving forward. This could also be a time that you'll be having discussions or thoughts or working towards a creative project. This would be a great time for you to turn that hobby or that passion that you have for yourself into a business. This could also look like attention around your children. So this may be increased time spent with children. Maybe your children are working on some kind of project. Doesn't really matter how old they are, but there may be increased activity in your children's lives around your, your attachment with your kids. And this could also be seeing someone making an announcement possibly of a pregnancy. So this could be your own pregnancy or someone close to you could could be announcing that they're having a baby. Now, with this fifth house energy lit up the way it is, this is also the area of where we take a chance. So you're one of those that could see, uh, be receiving some type of prize winnings, um, putting yourself out there, maybe going to the casino or the lottery, but you may be on the receiving end of some type of um, some type of prize or something to that effect could be coming into your life. As we move forward into the month, Venus is going to be highlighting your fourth house of family. So when we have Venus in the fourth house, the first thing that I think about is redecorating or beautifying your living space. So this could look like because Venus is all about the beautiful things, money, uh, abundance, 
uh, love. Um, you could be embarking on uh, redecorating your current space. That could be your entire space that you live in, or maybe just a room, maybe your bedroom, maybe your living room or kitchen. You're thinking about revamping, but something about beautifying your space always comes to mind when I see Venus in the fourth house. This could also act as energy around um, bringing more harmony to your family relationships and your family dynamics. Because the fourth house not only is about where we reside, this is also about our family and our family connection. Now, this could also be because Venus is the sign of, I mean, the planet that rules money. This could be someone possibly embarking on working from home or starting a home based business where you make money from home, which is a really, really good thing. Again, this can increase the harmony within your family and your family dynamic with regards to the fourth house. But also, again, I, I love the, the idea of the redecorating or beautifying uh, of your living space. Now, as we get to the end of the month and that full moon in the sign of Leo, it will be highlighting your 12th house. So we know with the full moon, that's about endings, adjustments, and acknowledgments. And the 12th house is about endings, closure, our healing, where we hold our traumas. This is also the area that governs specialized populations. So this could look like rehab centers, prisons, jails, the confinement of our minds, and things of that nature. So with the full moon here, this could be an ending of um, a situation whereas you have felt like you have been confined to it. Uh, maybe it's a project that you've been working on behind the scenes and now it's finally coming to culmination and you're feeling like you're you're ready to reveal it to the world. This could be a lot of inner shadow work that you've been doing for yourself and you may hit a breakthrough in this area. This could also put you in proximity or maybe in connection with someone that is in a confined space. Maybe someone close to you has a hospital stay. Someone close to you reaches out from a prison or jail or someone's dealing with a legal situation that somehow maybe you're supporting that person or maybe this might be you dealing with that situation in the background or maybe this is something that you've been struggling with for a long time and now you want to get help for it so this is a lot of energy around bringing forward possibly uh, people that can help you with the uh, again with those traumas with those hurts with those things that which you would like to uh, resolve so Virgo rising again for you this is going to highlight your romantic life um, your home life, redecorating, and also dealing with your your traumas, your shadow work is going to be highlighted in the month of January for you. Now, if you would like your own personal reading, please visit my website at www.melanindgoddesslife.biz. Please follow me on all the social media platforms. Thank you so much for your continued support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.